Hi everyone, my name is Adam Sissio. I'm author of Macy's Mirror, also a mental health counselor uh, here near Boston, Massachusetts. And just wanted to say a few words to the parents and the kids out there who are all stuck at home this week and for coming weeks. I know that this is a tough time for everybody and uh, I wanted to give some uh, tips on how to maintain good positive mental health through a time where we're, we could be isolated for uh, a, a good while. So, uh, well, tip one, number one would be just to keep your normal hygiene routine. You know, try to get up at a, the same time every day as if you're going to school or work or meeting your best friend. Make sure your kids are up too, uh, you know, before I'd say 9 a.m. I know it's like, a, it feels like a break for them, but just make sure they're getting up, getting in the shower, brushing their teeth, getting dressed, not staying in the pajamas too long. Um, you know, also, I think it's a good time to, you know, continue to learn, uh, whether it be reading for a couple hours each day uh, or picking up a new hobby or skill, learning how to draw, learning how to write a story. Uh, those are great hobbies. I think we want to keep our minds stimulated. For parents, I would recommend to, you know, refrain from watching the news for more than an hour a day. Uh, we know what's going on. We know what to do uh, in terms of keeping good hygiene. Uh, so I think we don't want to be overwhelmed by uh, the amount of news intake. When we absorb a lot of it, it can tend to rise uh, anxious feelings. And I think right now it's appropriate to be anxious, but not to a level where you're constantly checking the news and being fearful. So uh, just make sure, you know, you're keeping your mind occupied other ways, like maybe exercising, doing a yoga um session in the house or something that, that can keep your mind off of things. Uh, and lastly, just I think being kind to each other, um, doing a little favor here and there, uh, you know, cleaning a dish, making your bed, uh, can go a long way, not only for the, you know, the couples in the house, but also for, for the kids, you know, all they would have to do is maintain the cleanliness of their own space. And I think it goes a long way for the adults. So anyway, just wanted to give those tips to everybody. Stay safe. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks.